Good afternoon, International Trek Goobers. I'm here with Stuvi, the man who presses all the buttons on the Continental. Stuvi, how's it gone from your end? Fantastic, fantastic. We've had a great turnout, a great bunch of people, and it's all gone so smoothly. It's insanely awesome. The, um, the compulsory pants wearing for the main event, how did that you think that was undertaken? Oh, uh, there was a bit of backlash, particularly from the West Australian players, as we tend to play naked in Perth. Um, on occasion, we will wear underwear if it's chilly. But um, no, yeah, it, it was uh, overall, it was accepted that uh, clothes were to be worn. Do you think that the nude approach uh, in Perth is having any impact on getting new players there? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, possibly? <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, no, it's, um, yeah, the weekend's been absolutely awesome. Uh, everyone's been fantastic, and I can't, I can't speak any hi more highly of the um, players here, both the Sydney locals, uh, the Clark Brothers from Canberra, um, the Dillons in Queensland, and, of course, my uh, teammates from Western Australia have just been fantastic. Well, Chris is over there now playing against uh, Matt in the final, which is pretty exciting. And we'll have a look at that later on. Um, what do you think the standard of decks... How do you think the standard of Dex has uh, changed or improved lately? Well, it's, it's a tough one to gauge. I, I note that in Australia, the metagame tends to move uh, much slower than it does from what I've seen elsewhere in the world. Um, you find that there are a lot of decks that do get played again and again. Um, nothing to do with the uh, quality of the players. I think uh, just that the metagame tends to move a bit slower. Players tend to be uh, a bit more, uh, shall we say, um, oh, aggressive is not the word. I think... Uh, um, they procrastinate, don't they? No. <laughs> no, I, I think they, uh, they, tend to, uh, they tend to play what they think will win a game, not necessarily plan for what an opponent may play. And they don't play defensively. Offensively, that was the way I was looking for. They play offensively. And um, Tribbles is coming up the qualifier starting in about 10 minutes. Uh, are you involved and what are you playing? Um, I... F I... F <laughs> yes, I will be playing um, because I haven't qualified yet. Um, yet. Loser. <laughs> yes, I am a loser and I'm constantly reminded by my two Western Australian teammates who have qualified. Um, so, yeah, I will be uh, trying out... I don't hold out much luck of getting into the finals, which is hotly contested. Uh, there will be four players going uh, going into the finals from uh, this qualifier, so um, I'll keep my fingers crossed. But my rescue slash go slash I think there's some other stuff in there as well. Tribbles deck um, should uh, should be enough to get me in. Awesome. And we can just, Mike, just uh, we step aside and just have a look at the uh, fabulous prize table we have here. By the way, a uh, big shout out to Chris Sonsonby from um, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minnesota, sorry, sorry, Chris. Um, bunch of stuff he's sent across. Much appreciated. Thank you. We got a bit of a laugh when we opened it. But if you have a look at this, wonderful prizes. Absolutely awesome. Thanks, Mike. Back to the studio.